Okay guys, so we go from uh, Jasmine Apple Hotel to Sharm El Sheikh Airport to go back home in England. So I'll show you the way back from the hotel to the airport in Sharm. I'm not sure if you saw, but uh, someone was uh, spraying some kind of uh, solution for the mosquitoes, which was pretty cool. <coughs> <coughs> We're coming back next year for work for now. Near Jasmine Abel Hotel is the Royal Albatross. What are now? Cool is. And this is the hotel with the pier. Where I uh, yeah, where I went and I did snorkeling because the the pier of Jasmine Abel is uh, closed for uh, maintenance which is like the coral reef is beautiful there on the on that pier and I will uh, post a video <laughs> and the roundabout we turn around and we head towards uh, Sharm El Sheikh Airport. perfect for golf so if you want to play golf you can come here Passport. usually on the left hand side there are more more like more resorts you have rickshaws seagate and uh, loads of other uh, hotels on the right hand side there are not too many things because the, the, the Red Sea is like how we go from here to the Sharm El Sheikh International Airport uh, the resorts are on the left hand side basically so there are not too many things on the right hand side maybe the bazaar and uh, just a couple of other things but not too many not too many hotels because of course it's not the beach is not there so yeah this is as you can see, pretty much nothing here. There are a lot of like uh, flats and stuff like that. But yeah, it's pretty much uh, yeah. I have a couple of roads and stuff, but yeah. As you can see. So yeah, it will take like 15, 15 minutes with the coach, to be honest. So it will not take too long, to be honest. When we came here, like, um, yeah, um, I had to wait a little bit. 
in the boss, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. Because, uh, I mean, to clear custom, it takes like maybe, I don't know, one hour just because you need to wait for the luggages and stuff. Really? And that takes quite a while, but I mean, yeah. Everything else goes pretty smoothly, so you have like, I don't know, like three filters or something like that with the police. So it's not too bad, it's not like what the people are seeing on the internet. I'll let you know how it is when I go back home, but yeah. Some people said that it might take like three hours, but I don't think so. I don't think it takes three hours to to, to go through every checkpoint and stuff like that, That's the departures, but we shall see. It's un unlikely, but yeah. So here they have like a, a lagoon resort on this side, but yeah, it's no no red sea on this side. Maybe they have like a water park or something, but yeah. That's the only thing that you might be able to do on the right hand side. Literally nothing here. I think a lot of people they live here on this side. From what I can see. I'm not sure if that's a resort or not, it might be. There's some sports bar here. And this is a, a, an aqua park yeah, and a souvenir shop and a pharmacy. So that's why it's on the right hand side, it's so big. And here is literally nothing again. And literally nothing, as you can see. This place is pretty much deserted, so if you want to go on a one day trip with a boat and stuff like that, there's literally nothing. No. Just sand is like desert basically. Uh, you don't even see like a, a petrol station or nothing. Like we went from the hotel to to the bay when we went uh, for our one day trip, and like you can't find anything. You can't find shops or a petrol station or literally nothing. And it took like it took us like one hour to get there from the Jazz Mirabel uh, Beach Hotel. So yeah. I'm not entirely sure what you do if the car will break down, but yeah, it is what it is. I think it's to be expected here. And yeah, it's just, I think the Egyptians are really hardworking people, and uh, yeah, I think it's a big difference between like um, yeah what you see in the resort and if you go outside the resort. And my wife went to, to Cairo to see the pyramids for one day. Um, so yeah, it's not not perfect, is it? So yeah, they're working hard to put food on the table, so that's why they expect like tip and stuff. But yeah. For you, maybe five pounds will not mean anything, but for them goes a long way. So five pounds, it's quite a good tip in Egypt. There are some world works here, that's why. We're going slowly. As you can see, it's literally no traffic here. Like, only a couple of cars, I'm not sure why. Well, yeah. <coughs>
five minutes we should be there to be honest. It usually takes like 15 minutes. I don't know, I think we should stand here some time off. As you can see, there's nothing here on this side. Just, uh, yeah. Everything pretty much is on the left side. It is pretty safe here, to be honest, in Sharm. Maybe in Cairo it's not the same, but yeah. Sharm is more like um, a holiday, holiday destination for people, so yeah. Yeah, so we're turning up. We have a VAP entrance as well, so I'll show you this. Yeah, we have a VAP entrance here in Sharm. So yeah. Maybe Mohammed Salah or real VIPs will go there so you can see Sharm. So this is it. This is the guys were here. So it took literally 14 minutes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.